Excessive daytime sleepiness is aptly named as it's the actual name of a sleep disorder. Keep watching to find out more about excessive daytime sleepiness, the symptoms, causes, risk factors, diagnosis, and tips to manage the disorder. It's been a long, tiring day at work. You put your car on cruise as you listen to your favorite podcast. You momentarily nod off. Before you know it, you're speeding through the rest station at 70 miles per hour with zero recollection of how you got there. A surge of adrenaline jolts you awake. Now this episode may be due to symptoms of extreme exhaustion caused by excessive daytime sleepiness. What is excessive daytime sleepiness? You may have the disorder if you find it difficult to comfortably remain awake throughout the day for three months or longer. Activities like your son's baseball game or team meetings at work may lead to episodes of nodding off. Your boss may question your work ethic and your family members secretly wonder why you're so disengaged. But the truth is that you're so tired that you have a hard time participating in life. If you feel this way, you're not alone. Up to 25% of those around you are mind-numbingly tired, living with symptoms of excessive daytime sleepiness. What are the symptoms? You may feel too tired to focus on daytime activities, even the fun things, like a barbecue at your neighbor's house or a trip to the farmer's market for fresh bread. You may have a tough time with easy physical tasks like playing with your dog or doing the dishes. Quite frankly, finding the energy to do anything seems impossible and is physically and mentally depleting. You lack focus, have zero motivation, and maintaining activity levels is really hard. Excessive daytime sleepiness shouldn't be confused with chronic fatigue syndrome. The word fatigue is used to describe the main symptom of both conditions. Excessive daytime sleepiness is more about feeling tired than fatigued. Activities that stimulate blood flow, such as a walk or a jog, may help temporarily alleviate symptoms of excessive daytime sleepiness. But physical activities typically make chronic fatigue syndrome worse. What causes excessive daytime sleepiness? Identifying the root cause of your sleepiness is not easy. It can stem from poor sleep due to lifestyle factors or work obligations like shift work or caring for an elderly parent. Neurological disorders like Parkinson's disease, psychological disorders like anxiety, chronic pain from conditions like arthritis, or sleep disorders like sleep apnea. All these types of disorders can lead to disrupted sleep, leaving you exhausted. Next up, risk factors, diagnosis, and management options. What are the risk factors? It can be hard to identify the predictors of excessive daytime sleepiness. General criteria for the disorder may include youthfulness, shorter sleep times, higher frequency of naps, anxiety, sleep apnea, or side effects of prescribed medication. How is excessive daytime sleepiness diagnosed? This condition can be challenging to diagnose partly due to the wide range of possible causes and coexisting conditions. Your doctor will do a thorough physical examination and may request detailed information regarding your sleep history and medications. You may also have to fill out specific sleep questionnaires or undergo polysomnography, known as a sleep study. How is excessive daytime sleepiness managed? If you have a primary health condition, it should be treated first. If excessive daytime sleepiness is the primary issue, your doctor may prescribe medications or stimulants as these may help with staying awake. Alternately, the timing or dosage of prescribed medications may be adjusted to reduce daytime drowsiness. 
Lifestyle changes may be advised, such as increasing exposure to morning daylight, starting an exercise regimen, or adopting a healthy sleep hygiene routine. Your doctor may even prescribe cognitive behavioral therapy, especially if the cause of excessive daytime sleepiness is linked to clinical depression or anxiety. If your exhaustion is deflating the joy from life, talk to your doctor. Help is available.